Hey guys, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10, you lovely, lovely folks. My name's Danny Berg, Instagram's down there, and this is the channel where we take all kinds of weird and wonderful things from all over the world and turn them into a nice little top 10 list so you guys don't have to. And today, we've got the top 10 movie Easter eggs. We're not talking about the chocolate kind of Easter eggs, we're talking about the clues and references that filmmakers drop into their movies that usually go over the heads of a lot of people, myself included. I seem to miss a lot of them, so I thought we could collect and talk about 10 of the best, so let's just jump into this right away like we always do with our number 10, C-3PO and R2-D2 in Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones was played by Harrison Ford, who is probably most famous for playing Han Solo in Star Wars. So when Steven Spielberg made Indiana Jones, he couldn't help but put in a cheeky Star Wars reference for Harrison and good friend George Lucas in this scene where we briefly catch a glimpse of C-3PO and R2-D2 on the walls of an ancient tomb. It's a really cool easter egg for fans of both franchises and if you somehow missed it, then it actually appeared again later on in the movie on another wall, this time complete with an ancient Egyptian prince. Princess Leia. Moving on to number 9, we've got a Harry Potter sex scene. Hmm. No folks, don't worry, you didn't miss any of the Hogwarts guys getting it on, but there was something hidden in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban that wasn't entirely PG. At the end of the movie, during the title credits, we see the magical Marauders map showing the footsteps of people walking around Hogwarts. But wait, what is going on there? Yeah, that looks like the position of a couple who don't want to get caught with their pants down, but it might already be too late by the looks of it. I'll let you guys use your imagination to do all the talking on that one, and let's move swiftly on to our number 8, which is the flux capacitor in the Polar Express. If any of you guys have ever time travelled, you'll know that the flux capacitor from the Back to the Future movies is essential for hopping back and forth in time, but apparently it has other uses too. Check out this scene from the animation sensation the Polar Express, where things are going a bit haywire in the engine room. Did you see that? Let's watch it again. And bam! There's the flux capacitor we all know and love. It might even be a newer model, I think, than the actual Back to the Future ones. Looks kind of shiny. I actually had a big debate before I made this video with one of my friends about whether or not this means the Polar Express can travel in time, and then I realised I'm a grown man debating about whether an animated train can travel in time. So, yeah. At number 7, we've got this scene from Predator 2 where Danny Glover is walking through the Predator's mothership when he comes across a room full of skulls that the Predator has killed. Take a look at some of these weird skulls and try not to let the epic music distract you. For any fans of the movie Alien out there, you may well recognise this skull right here as the skull of a xenomorph warrior, the famous alien from the Alien movies. It was originally meant to just be a little light-hearted joke, but it actually became a reality in 2004 when they released Alien versus Predator, the movie where everyone's a winner unless you're a human. At number 6, now it wouldn't be a video about movie easter eggs if I didn't mention Pixar. They are the masters of this art and love to pack every movie they make with references to other movies in the Pixar universe. The most famous example of this is probably the Pizza Planet truck. It first popped up in Toy Story and has since made an appearance in every single Pixar movie to date except The Incredibles. Here it is in Bugs Life, Toy Story 2, Monsters Inc, Finding Nemo, Cars, Ratatouille, Wally, -E, Toy Story 3, Cars 2, Brave, and Monsters University. The fact that we see this Pizza Planet truck in so many of the Pixar movies is actually a main element of the Pixar theory, which states that all the Pixar movies are intricately connected. So check it out if you like that kind of stuff. But we're halfway through now, guys, at number five, and we've got E.T. appearing in Star Wars. With so many alien races appearing in the Star Wars movies, it almost seems inevitable that one of them seems a bit too too familiar. Case in point, this scene from The Phantom Menace during the debate at the Galactic Senate. Look at these guys here. They look an awful lot like E.T. Well, this isn't some incredible coincidence. As I mentioned earlier in the video, Star Wars creator George Lucas is good friends with Steven Spielberg and clearly dropped in Steven's most famous extraterrestrial as a little best buds easter egg. If that got you in the mood for more Star Wars facts, then I actually talk about a whole bunch over here in this video, top 10 Star Wars facts you didn't know, so check it out. But for now, we're on to number 4 and we're taking a look at the movie Tron. No, not 2010's Tron Legacy, the original 1982 Tron. The movie looked like a classic video game in its own right, so it almost came as no surprise to some keen-eyed viewers who spotted this little guy, nomming pack dots on the screen of Sark's command ship. This Pac-Man easter egg even included the noise that Pac-Man makes. Check it out. See guys, even if you're an evil digital commander trying to kill people, you're never too old for Pac-Man. 
Never forget that. We're at number three now, and if I say to you guys Batman vs Superman, you'll probably say, oh yeah, that movie's coming out next month. But that wasn't the case back in 2007 when I Am Legend was released. There had been no serious mention of the movie being made, so fans freaked out during this scene where Will Smith's character has just lost his prey to some lions in the middle of New York. The camera pans up in Times Square to show a whole bunch of billboard posters and bam! The crowd goes wild. Warner Brothers had actually been toying with the idea of making a Batman vs Superman movie behind the scenes as early as 2004, but they hadn't made anything official until after I Am Legend, meaning this easter egg kinda predicted the future. Personally I just hope they didn't get the apocalyptic virus thing right too. Hmm. At number 2 we're going over to the movie Iron Man 2. In one scene Tony Stark decides to build a particle accelerator in his basement when he's visited by Agent Coulson who works for spy agency SHIELD. Agent Coulson seems pretty surprised by what he finds there. What's this doing here? Yeah, that is Captain America's shield that belongs to the superhero who didn't make his Marvel movie debut until the following year with Captain America The First Avenger. It certainly got fans hyped and it's now known the reason Tony Stark had it in his basement was because his father was the one involved in the creation of Captain America's suit during World War 2. And I ran that by all my Marvel movie fans so I hope I got that one right. Well guys, I'm almost full of movie easter eggs but I think I might have room for one more so let's check out our number one and it's from the comedy horror classic Shaun of the Dead. In this scene at the start of the movie, Ed is comforting Shaun after his breakup with his girlfriend but nothing can seem to cheer him up. Eventually though, Ed comes up with a plan for them to just keep drinking and at first it seems completely normal. But some keen eared viewers actually pointed out that, that speech wasn't just about drinking lots of alcohol, it actually foreshadowed the entire plot of the movie you're about to watch. The Bloody Mary refers to the zombie girl Mary in their back garden, a bite at the king's head refers to stepfather Phil being bitten, a couple at the little princess are David and Diane at the apartment of girlfriend Liz, they stagger back into the pub they're in because they have to pretend to be zombies, not because they're drunk, and the shots at the bar are from a shotgun, not from a glass. I've literally seen that movie 20 times and that never occurred to me once, it blew my mind. I might actually have to go and watch that movie tonight just to deal with it. Is that for a slice of fried gold? Yeah, boy! Well guys, I hope you enjoyed those movie easter eggs. I know there's tons more out there, so if you know any other good ones, let me know in the comments below. And if I find more myself, I might even make a part two. What do you guys think? If you enjoyed this video and you want to be fact attacked on a daily basis, then make sure you stay subscribed so we can deliver these videos right to your front door. There's also two of them flying over there right now if you want to give them a click. And as ever guys, thanks so much for watching Most Amazing Top 10. I hope you have a fantastic day. My name's Danny Burke, Instagram's down there, and I'll see you guys soon.